Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Getting ready for the spring craft fair season. My first show is Sunday. Um, if you live in the Chicago area and you've got um, interest in craft fairs or stamping up, taking classes, you wanna know where I'm gonna be this spring, check out KitchenTableStamper.com. Follow the link below the video to the blog and you can see what's cooking at the Kitchen Table Stamper. Um, in-person events. All right, so this little dude uh, is a soda bottle lip balm box, and I've done something similar to this. I'll link it up in the blog so you can see, but um, I found these soda flavor lip smackers and got a good price for them, so I thought, Soda bottles, they go all year round, especially for spring shows. So we're making this Coca-Cola version today and let me show you because I found some other lip balm flavors a couple other cute little designs similar here's strawberry Fanta Sprite here's cherry coke I found some orange crush and here is grape Fanta all right, so those are some fun little inspiration ideas. I'll get a picture of those. Um, but we're gonna do the Coca-Cola one today. And the supplies that you need to make this project include the Bubble Over stamp set. This is available in the 2018-2019 Stampin' Up! catalog. Bottles and Bubbles Framelits dies. Those are also available in the current 2018-2019 catalog. The stamping pads for this project, Real Red and Memento Tuxedo Black. I've got a Stampin', Stampin Up 2x8 inch cellophane bag. My consumable materials, oh wait, 3 quarter inch circle punch, don't forget that. My consumable materials include a Real Red piece, this is 3 by 3 and a quarter. This is for the base of your box. This measurement has to be right. The rest you can use up scraps for. I've got a two by two whisper white, um, one and a half by one and a quarter silver foil. This is the designer series paper from the Regal six by six designer series paper. It's about two by two and three quarters. And then I pulled out scraps for cutting my bottles, an inch and a half by four or um, three by four to cut two bottles is what you need. This is real red, and so is my box. Uh, let's see here, I think that's all the supplies that we need, let's get started. I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping and then we'll get the Simply Scored. So the uh, Bubble Over stamp set is photopolymer. I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Pierce mat and Whisper White. Here we've got Tuxedo Black and real red. We're gonna take the star image, the circle star, from the Bubble Over stamp set, ink it up really well in Memento Tuxedo Black. And then let's grab the bubbles. So it's a group of five little bubbles. We're only gonna ink up that very end one. We're gonna ink it up with real red on the edge of the pad and then stamp that one little bubble right in the center of the star. Super simple little embellishment for our Coke bottle. I was looking for some designs that were a little bit more on the masculine side in case this was going to go in a little boy's Easter basket or um, go, to, go to a guy. I think the Coke bottle fits the bill. Alright, so we're going to take our 3 quarters inch circle punch here and line up and cut out our little star circle and set that dude aside. Now I've got my Simply Score tool and we're going to put our three by three and three quarters box into the tool with the three inch side. And we're going to score at five eighths one and a quarter, at one and seven eighths, and at two and a half. 
Then we're gonna rotate 90 degrees to the right and score at 5 eighths. So there's our little box. Okay, so first we're going to cut out this smallest tab entirely. And I like to cut it out with a little bit of a angle. And then we're gonna cut the glue tab at an angle. So this shortest piece and that tiniest little um, rectangle at the end. Then we'll just simply cut out the little score lines from the bottom up into that intersecting score. Get to that intersecting score, stop. There it is, there's our little box. Let's put some tear and tape adhesive on the glue tab. And now I'm gonna set this aside for just a minute. Let's get our big shot. We're gonna do a little die cutting. Okay, we got the big shot all set up for die cutting. It's got the um, standard platform and the thin die adapter. I'm gonna put a cutting pad down. And with this framelit, we can cut both of our bottles at one time. We can go through two layers of cardstock there, no problem. And we're going to also cut our label at one time because we can do two pieces of the designer series paper at once. So we'll layer those up and add on the little label. And then last, we've got our silver bits. We're gonna cut the bottle top and the little cap all at one time. So all the die cutting for this project goes through the machine in one pass, which is really nice for a craft fair project. All right, so really nice one bottle, one pass through the machine. All right, there's our six pieces. Now let's get this thing assembled. Here's our sample, bring it back in. A little lip smacker. So let's peel the release tape here on the bottle. And we're gonna bring this around and make a box. And that right there is the back of our box. So let's hold that for just a minute. Cause what we're gonna do now is put some tear and tape that indicates the back of the box. And when we fold up the box, we want the front to go to the back to make it look as finished as possible from the front of the bag. So we're gonna put the back and then the sides. And then hold there for just a second and we're gonna grab a little tear and tape. And now you'll peel the release from the tear and tape and to close the box, you bring the front around. So when you're looking at it from the front, there's the least amount of seams showing. Now that's the back of our box. We'll keep the tear and tape there. And we're going to need a snail now. I'm gonna put some snail adhesive on my labels. And for the back of the box, that's all the decoration I do. Just put the little label on there. Then I add a sticker on the back of the bag so that the Stampin' Up! copyright's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this dude and add the bottle so that the bottom of the bottle is flush with the bottom of the box. I wanna make sure that our little dudes stand, because they do. Not in the bag though, unfortunately. But the bag keeps them protected. They do stand. See that? All right, we can pop our little lip balm in there now. And that's the back. Now let's work on the front of this. We're gonna add the label, just like we did for the back of the bottle. And our foil paper. Let's get that added on. Such a cutie. Take a half of a Stampin' Dimensional. And there's our 
There's our little star. Pop that up in the center of the bottle cap. A little more tear and tape here. Front of the box. We'll add the front. We want to make sure it lines up nicely with the bottle in the back and that it lines up nicely with the bottom. Let's see, still stands. Cute little bottle. And the last little finishing touch is a little multi purpose liquid glue on this cap. You don't need much at all. The littlest bit will do. And we'll add the little silver cap to the top of the bottle. There it is, all done. I bag it up in the little two by eight Stampin' Up bag. I trim down the top just a little bit, tie it up with some twine, and away to the craft fairs we go. All right, that's it. If you've got any questions about this project, about Stampin' Up, if there's anything I can do to help you stay crafty, you can email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. And if I can help you with a Stampin' Up! order, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net where you can shop Stampin' Up! 24-7. All right, guys, thanks for watching.